play. So we've gotten pretty familiar with it. It's gotten easier in the sense that we understand the moves, we know the moves, we just kind of look at the screen now. We don't need them to really explain a whole lot. Uh, we know what's coming, we understand what a clean is, a jerk is, all, you know, and, and we know what kind of the routine, yeah. Squat, jerk, clean, whatever. So by the time you get to the end of it, as you can see, we just finished, I'm still kind of winded. It's a very good, kind of like a cardio weightlifting exercise because you're doing so many squats. You're using a lot of large muscle groups. So, excellent workout. I don't have a whole lot more to say about this. I actually used a little bit heavier weights today in the, especially the deadlifts and something right after the deadlifts. We were, I went to dumbbells, got rid of the straight bar. Yeah, some of the shoulder presses and things like that. So, and then when we went to the heavy weights today, um, I went to 30 pounds, I've been using 25, so uh, really felt that, got a little dizzy uh, on one of them, I remember that. Uh, it was on the, the full body one where we came all the way up, did all the way down in the squats and then went all the way up to the presses. By the end of that, that was quite, a, quite exhausting with 30s in my hands. So, excellent workout, I enjoy this workout though, I really like it and uh, I think we get to do it maybe one more time. We only have two, two weeks left. So I think there's, I think it is only one more time if I remember right. So, but uh, and I've enjoyed learning this type of routine. It's new, never done this combination of moves before, where it's all, you know, picking the bar up, coming up, doing an upright row, getting in there, you know, it, just kind of unique for me. For maybe not for a lot of other people, for me it is. Yeah, and Philip, I don't really have anything new to say about today's workout, because like you said, this is our third time doing it. Um, the only thing that I did different is I actually went up in weights because he went up in weights. I was able to use the 45 pound Olympic bar for my heavy sets. Um, and then like Philip, I went up on my deadlifts um, because it's not putting any pressure on your elbows and stuff. So I was able, the weights that I used again on just about everything was about 33 pounds total because it's a little less Mills pump bar that I've been using than some of the other stuff. Uh, with 15 pounds on each side, and then um, you have a pool of sweat right there in here. Did you want to go swim? Ugh. Ew, I bet that's disgusting. Right that would now. be gross. Anyway, um, so and then on my heavy set, like I said, I was using 45s, the deadlifts, I was using 30s on the deadlifts. But I tell you what, I feel like I could do tell you what, I'll tell you what. All right. You ready? I'm ready. I'm going to tell you, here it comes. Here it comes. I can go up. <laughs> the <Wow. laughs> no, big, breaking. big announcement. Um, yeah, so I've definitely been the third time we've done this. I've really improved on my strength. And I think a lot of it, again, goes back to learning proper form. Um, so I think that if Philip would ever move up on everything on his lightweight, then I can move up to the 45-pound Olympic bar. Yeah, but the only way to do that is to use the dumbbells. 
And with the elbow issues that we both have been having, you know that I said if you would ever, but yeah. you're not. So. But 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 the but the side note to that is is that I feel the same way. But the lightweight is a good way. The 45 is good for lightweight for me too. But on a lot of the early things that we're doing, when he goes to medium weights, I wish I had enough time. And I might with the squat rack that we have now be able to throw it up there, throw a couple fives on, and then take fives off because I could use an extra 10 pounds for medium weight. Um, so it's kind of like we're kind of stuck in a weird place right there. But. I need another Olympic bar. Oh, wow. I'm not going to say that that's not going to happen. Maybe if I say, oh, sure, then it won't happen. Maybe that's how to work. But then I'll be breaking a promise to me. Oh, then I'm going to say it's not going to happen and I'm sticking <laughs> to that. We only have two weeks left. I can make it do. <laughs> if I really wanted to, I could suck it up and use dumbbells. But I tell you what. Soon as I grab the dumbbells for the deadlifts, I could already feel the strain in my elbow. Um, even just picking up the upright right rows, was it? Yeah, was, never, yeah, that's where it was. Yeah, because when you start pulling it up, it puts pressure right. on the outside, which is where I'm having my issues. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever be able to go up during this program anyway when we work out together for that reason. But um, definitely, what I I could definitely do more than just a 45 pound. I think even from there, I might feel. Even from a heavy set, I could probably throw on some fives, and I think I'd be okay still with that. Um, so yeah, but that, that just means that there is improvements, and even though you might not physically see changes, like I was watching videos and I was like, I actually think I've gotten smaller since we've started the program. And I remember saying this before, and I was wrong, but I just looked back five weeks ago, and I just, I think my shoulders, aren't as big as what they used to be. But like I said, I don't know, I haven't been doing measurements. But um, even though I'm not seeing muscles getting bigger, because I'm definitely not seeing that in the shoulders, um, I do feel a lot stronger. And I will say my core is starting to take place. So for that part, I'm excited about. I was actually admiring my core in the mirror before I came out here, because I had to change. And I'm starting to get- I was wondering why she was in the, uh changing area for so long. I was pooping. No, no you weren't. <laughs> well. No, I really was. I was looking at my abdominals because I haven't had, you know, since since when you go into bulk, even though you try to do a lean bulk, you still put on a little bit of fat. And ladies, we carry it from here to here. This is just, this is our zone. And so I Where's have, my zone? Don't, no, 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 don't, don't tell everybody where my zone. I know it's that. I got a little right here. He has the tire. We I, don't a now. tire? We don't now. I have a tire? <laughs> I, I, that's where I do carry it when I do carry it. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You carry a tire. But I like a, a tire. Like, I'm huge. Like, like that would be like a roll, wouldn't it? A tire? Maybe, maybe an say, inner tube. I didn't say a monster truck. Like, 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 like a bike tire. Okay, you're a tricycle tire. <laughs> there we Does go. Does that make you feel better? Yes, I feel a lot better now. <sighs> okay, anyways. Thank you. So I have noticed that my up here is, this is not coming in quite as much as up here in my obliques. And this is coming in again, because even in today's routine, when you're doing a one arm, you're having to support that side with your obliques. So you are engaging that. And then in a lot of the other routines, we do have to engage your core and a lot of that stuff too. So I do see changes here. Like, yeah, tomorrow, like we're doing chisel balance, I think tomorrow. So. That requires a lot of core strength. I was talking to one of our um, one of our friends, Tracy. We mentioned her before, and she actually has the bonus DVDs, and she's been kind of talking about. Tracy, you're killing me. You're absolutely killing me, Tracy. She's been telling me about some of the different bonus uh, routines that there are. There's like a great glute workout. There is a bicep day in it. So some of the stuff that we have been saying has been missing from the program, they do offer it. You just have to buy the additional DVDs for it. So I'm not saying I'm going to buy them, but... Yeah. No, she won't buy them. <laughs> I, I will buy them. It would be nice. Yeah. Well, we only have two weeks left, so maybe next time we do 60 days of this program. 
Or you could buy them just to add <laughs> to the library. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, so it's a great routine today. I enjoy it. I kind of feel bad because it's our third time doing this routine. So I feel like y'all are probably getting bored seeing it. But again, it's kind of cool to see like different things that you can do. I did notice this today though. I haven't used the dumbbells. You know, in a, I didn't use them last time. So I forgot totally for some reason when I go to grab it, I had to catch myself doing the one armed. When I would go down, I came up and I stopped with my hand forward and then yeah, I went up yeah. and I caught it and I was like, cheese and crackers, that's not how it goes. So I had to mentally think, turn your elbow in because it's just kind of like a natural thing when I have the bar. And oh, that made me think. Flexibility wise, my wrists have gotten better too. I've been, when I'm sitting at work or something, I'll just stretch my arms back. And look at that, look at that, look at that. You see that? Oh. Couldn't do some four ball push-ups. Those suckers will hurt. Are we doing X2 or are we doing... Man, yeah, I really want to do X2. Hammer and That's my new program. I've gotten excited about X2, but go ahead. Not for me, though. Anyways, so yes. So flexibility-wise, and the wrists have gotten a lot better. So when we're doing the squats, I'm not having any issues in my wrists anymore by holding it. Because it seems like when we just go up into the row and then here into the press, it doesn't bend my arms back as much as when I go to go squatting down because of the way your body goes. So that's where that? like almost like a curtsy. It was very nice. Thank you. What, what was that? <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> so sweet. Yes, it was. I'm not going to go there. Anyways. All right. I know you want to. Um, but when you go down into your squat position, that's when I would find that my, my wrist would normally give me problems. So I don't have problems there anymore. So anyway, excited about that. And that's all I have to say. Yeah, so we've only got a um, little over two weeks left to finish the 60 days. And like the main reason we're doing the big, the big the video, the video, the video, the videos every single day video. for more than it's quirky to pick. Yeah, for for more than just putting videos up on YouTube, it's to all those that are following along and doing the program as well. Um, it's just an encouragement. That's kind of what we're here for, uh, just to encourage you to. Okay, they did their workout. I gotta go do my workout. You know, and and, and I know that some people are following along and I watch your workout right before I go do my workout. And, and so. Uh, if you're in the midst of this, we want you to finish the 60 days, keep following along, and a lot of people are pretty close to where we're at, you know, mm -hmm. within a week. We actually have some new followers that are just beginning their just journey, too, they're like in week one of it. So. Yeah. So, but it's fun, and uh, we've, had a, we've had a good ride with Master's Hammer, just, and it's turned out to be a real good program. No, I agree. Yeah. At first, we were kind of, we, uh, we we're being honest, the first week we were both kind of going, and then... And then we just kind of got into the swing of it. Once we started figuring out all the weights and everything, yeah. And started figuring out all the moves, and yeah, it's been a good program. Yeah, it's been great. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.